I'm really excited to talk about the brain at the London Business Forum because it's such a complex organ. It's really got so much going on at any one moment and most people have grown up not knowing much about it at all and yet it's present in our everyday life and it's driving so many of our results. Today, I think one of the biggest challenges is that we're expecting our brain to do so much and when it evolved, it didn't have these expectations placed upon it. One of the things that we're gonna talk about today is an area of the brain called the prefrontal cortex and this is vital for everything from logical thinking, decision making, planning, by understanding more about the prefrontal cortex and what challenges it means that we can structure our day and structure our work in a way that is respectful to the brain and means that we can get more out of it. I think one of the best things that you can do to help your brain perform at its best is to recognize that every single day we are shaping our brain. We're actually shaping and wiring in new neural pathways. So today we're gonna uh, maybe resurrect some old skills of playing a recorder. And what we'll see there is actually how just through very short bursts of practice, we're grooving in new pathways. So we'd always encourage people to think about what they want their brain to do. What do they want it to be really good at? And then do things that are gonna support it. Many people have heard of mindfulness, and this is one way to activate a different network in the brain that actually strengthens other parts of the brain to nourish it and enable it to perform better in the things that we choose for it to do. I think the first thing that you can do to be more productive at work is to reduce the pressure on your prefrontal cortex. So try and systemize as much as possible. If you can reduce the need for your willpower to be exercised in a day-to-day -day situation, then you free your brain up to uh, not be so challenged, so taxed, especially the prefrontal cortex. Consider intentionally the environment that you're putting yourself in. So whether that's the self-talk, the things that you're saying to yourself, or the physical environment that you're in, make it an inspiring one and prime yourself with things that are going to enable you to be more proactive. There are so many variety of different ways that we can actually continue to strengthen and nourish our brain. Continuing to learn a new instrument, learn a new language, get out and see things that you haven't seen before. All of these things that protect our brain for old age. I don't think there's any excuse that, that we're too old to change.